Bro, it was so crazy because Piotr took two rounds off against Corey. Ain't that crazy? He took two rounds off. So if Corey hadn't messed up, Corey probably could have won that one by split decision. But I'm sorry, man. These judges got to be held accountable. I don't think people I think need to be system, on Sean. Man. I don't think people need to be on Sean as much because it ain't his fault, man. The reality is there may have been some favoritism, but Piotr, man, you've had too many decisions in a row that was just too close. And the reality is there is one common denominator. You think you entitled to the first round. Not even so, that, but just like what happened with the first Al Jermaine fight, the way it ended, it's just the decision making, man. The it's decision just, making. It's not a good look, man. It might be something that what I said the other day, there might be something that kind of hurt his career when he did that knee. So Al Jermaine Sterling, yeah. Cause now it's kind of hard to shape back from that. Now you're losing these closed decisions. It's just kind of like, dang, like and your aura of invincibility is steady. I'm telling you, you know what's gonna happen. And I hate to say this, but you know what's gonna happen if you go to the next fight, cause he on the downhill. He gonna get knocked out. Yeah, he gonna fight Umar now. He gonna. I don't know if they're going to get him, but I'm telling you, Piotr going to get knocked out because he's on the down here. He's on the downtrend because it was an accident. I'm not blaming him. It was an accident. It lapsed in judgment, and it happens. But they need Al Jermaine. So then the second fight, Al Jermaine shows up like a completely different fighter. When instead, if Al Jermaine had just lost the decision, he would have had to fight two or three more times, and he would have had to be doggone impressive to get a rematch. You know what I'm saying? But now he get another opportunity. He shows up, completely different fighter. Again, Piotr, you don't think the first round matters for some reason. So he lost that round. Then, you know, he lost two of the next few rounds. But then he won the last two, but it was too late. You down three. Before that, he fought Corey. First three rounds. Bro, it was so crazy because Piotr took two rounds off against Corey. Ain't that crazy? He took two rounds off. So if Corey hadn't messed up, Corey probably could have won that one by split decision. Piotr, how many split decisions do you think you're supposed to win in a row, man? Like, come on, dude. Like, And not only that, though, but he needed to win that first Al Jermaine Sterling fight because Al Jermaine Sterling had back surgery. Yeah. And it makes Al Jermaine Sterling look good because he was losing when he was injured. And he came back and he beat Piotr Young when he was healthy. When he was healthy. But if Piotr Young would have won a decision, it nobody would, cares. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Which he was probably going to lose the second fight, too. But he could have kept his belt a little bit longer. And that was like Piotr was never the champion, man. And now he's holding so many losses. Now, losses are starting to add up. And you starting to... His record still looks amazing and fantastic. But we got to stop showing that Uriah Faber kick. That was a long time ago. We got to stop showing the Jose thing. That was a long time ago. So he's starting to bang on his wrestling a little bit more now, too. Because even if he felt like a song you don't, he'd, have to he'd be taking him down. My fear is that he might get knocked out before he get the opportunity. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. Because Sean almost put him away. You know, Sean Yudong might not be the best person at the moment, but I'm saying I would hate to see him versus Cheeto. I feel like Cheeto might get him. And then they got a common opponent in Sean. Now, and I, what did I tell you? Piotr is becoming a Neil Magny of the top three. Like, basically, at the Bantamweight, if you can beat Piotr Young, you get a title shot. You basically turn it into the top three version of Neil Magny, where if you can get past this person, okay, cool. Because now, Piotr didn't even have the belt for a long time, but what do they keep saying? Former champion, former champion, former champion. So they're using your former champion status as a way to elevate other fighters when they give them split decisions. What are you doing? So I'm telling you what's going to happen next, man. And Please. then he was a champion because he was a champion only because Cruz wasn't champion, Illichar wasn't champion, and Cruz wasn't champion, and Cody wasn't champion. So that's the only reason he was only a champion for so long. Because at one time, point, at one point, it was up for grabs. And at that point, I don't think back then he would have been able to beat none of them. That, I mean, at that time. So who that, he beat? Was it? Hold on, I forgot who he beat to become champion to begin with. Oh, Jose. No, it was, yeah, it was Jose Aldo. I'm sorry, man. We got to let the Jimmy Rivera thing go. We got to let... Oh, he fought thing. Jose for the belt. So, do he fought Jose. So, he fought Jose for the belt. He fought Jose for the belt. And then he fought Al Jermaine right after that. Got his pop five. Then he fought Corey for an interim. So, who he fought before Jose? Uriah Faber. That's what I'm saying. We got to let that go. And that was in 2019, Uriah Faber. Stop. Uriah Faber was the man. Don't get me wrong, but not in 2019. Like, we got to stop showing that kick. They just hold on to that, man. I'm sorry, but Piotr is like on a downslide, and now the bad decision-making is starting to catch up, man. Because he's in the Bandwidth division, and it's, and it's killers, nothing but killers there, man. It's nothing but killers. Man. Even if he fought against somebody like, I'm trying to think of somebody, because I know Ricky he could Simone, take Ryan Funt down. Ricky That's Simone, a, a Ricky, bad example. Ricky Simone might beat him. Nah, I don't like Ricky. Nah, man. You ain't got to like Ricky, but no, I'm Ricky. saying I don't like, but I'm saying like, I don't think he can beat nobody in the top five. Man, I think Ricky can beat a lot of them boys in the top five, but I'm saying, but let's say realistically, okay, let's bring it back. Let's go pick somebody in the top five. I don't think it was necessarily the right decision, but I don't think it was necessarily the wrong decision at the same time. Ooh.